start by saying your name and telling me what you do here at Clooney. Okay, my name is Garrett Holtz and I am the, the eighth grade teen center learning coach. Okay. Tell me what the duties are for being a learning coach. Well, Every day seems to be different, but I can tell you that uh, I run the team center when it comes to behavior as well as the kids that are excelling in different levels in their particular uh, subject. And you have experience when it comes to behavior because last year, you know what you did last year? I worked here at Fort Middle School last year as the climate and safety officer. I was one of two in that position. Uh, that position is no longer here, so uh, I applied for the current I have now. And you were talking to us about what in-school suspension was. That, that doesn't exist anymore. No. Is that right? There is no in-school suspension room at all. Um, the learning center that, or the team center that we have right now, there is some behavior uh, kids that come in here besides the ones that are excelling uh, in the classes. Uh, the only difference between what we had last year in the in-school uh, suspension room was there was not much structure there and a lot of the kids did not have assignments uh, when they came into the ISS room where this year they have specific work that is brought with them and we can monitor uh, you know their improvement in their work that way unlike last year. So they're just not they're not getting just a free day anymore. Right. They are coming to the team center with work and they do that work. So you think uh, that this is better for the students then? Absolutely, it's more structured. And at least the, uh, whoever's in the team center, whether it be me, uh, we know what they're supposed to do. Unlike last year, you know, I might just grab a book off a shelf <laughs> and ask them to read that book, even though it might have not have been the subject that they were missing. My last question for you, because I want to make sure we encompass everything that's happening. So that sounds pretty good. Um, is there any challenges or anything that you want to talk about, or like that? So, or is it perfect? I don't, I don't, nothing's perfect, but. I don't well, know. we still have some behavior problems within the team center, but I think we're a little bit more proactive this year compared to last year. We know uh, what we're supposed to do. We know who we're supposed to refer behavior issues to, and there seems to be some immediate consequences. Where last year it was kind of like a free for all. And why, this is easy for you, why, why do you choose Fleming? Why, why do you want to be here? This is, you came back, you took another position. Why well, did you choose this? On a personal note, I was a juvenile probation officer for 30 years and retired. Um, and then I decided I wanted to get back in the system. My daughter, um, we live in another town, but live in Houston uh, during the week. She goes to HSBBA, and so when I knew I needed to work, I, um, looked at the background of some of the schools and I saw that from my prior history that Fleming was probably the best suited for me and I knew that I could hopefully make a difference. That's what I'm hearing from a lot of teachers, they just want to make a difference. Yeah. All right.